What a wonderful morning! There isn't a cloud in the sky. Uh-oh. I was wrong. There's a pair of clouds at Granny Goat's house. Freddy and Ferdy Fox. <laughs> Ow! Shh! Shh! Yourself! <laughs> they should be ashamed of themselves, pinching plums from poor old Granny. It's two against one. I think I'll even things up. <laughs> Shh! Quiet! So, Granny, Mum was wondering if I could pick some of your plums to make jam. I'd love to give you some, Rupert, but I'm afraid the worms have got them this year. Worms? In all of them? That's right. Great, big, fat, slimy worms in each and every one. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Look at those little rascals, Skidaddle. Where'd you get that basket of plums, Roop? Granny Goat gave them to me, Freddy. Don't you know they're full of worms? Are they really? Mmm, -mm, my favorite. She gave them to me for helping rid her orchard of some nasty pest. <laughs> oh, he fooled us. I knew he was fooling us all the time. You did not. You did? Because I'm smarter than you. You are not. You are too, because I'm the eldest. Only by three minutes. Right. That makes me three minutes smarter. Doesn't. Hold on, Ferdy. We shouldn't be fighting each other. Rupert's the one we should be getting even with. Right. Just what I was going to say. <laughs> hey, Ferdy. That's strange. Leaves are falling, but they're still green. I wonder if the autumn elves know about this. Huh. Who ever heard of such a thing? Won't be much of an autumn if you ask me. What luck! There's one now. Can't get a decent color display using only half a handful. I tried telling them, each tree, two handfuls of gold dust, but oh no! There's a gold shortage. The king says we gotta tighten our belts. Have you ever heard of the autumn elves running into a gold shortage? Well, no. Huh! Look at that! I can't even mix a bright orange! What a shame! It won't seem like a proper autumn if the leaves don't turn to gold. My point exactly! So much for Mother Nature ablaze in all her finery is all I can... Oh, no! What's the matter? Where am I? Right there. A lucky guess. Okay, uh, where am I now? There. What am I doing? Jumping up and down. Ah! Uh, now what? Being rude. Sorry, but you can't see me. I'm invisible. Aren't I? No, you aren't. Oh, no. This is horrible. Perhaps I can help. My name's Rupert. Hello, Rupert. My name's Hugo. But it will be mud when the captain finds out I've lost my bell. <gasps> Look what I found. I dropped it. Whatever it is, it's mine. Oh, 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 oh hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> what happened? I feel funny. Like when you've eaten too much ice cream and your nose hurts. Don't worry, Hugo. We'll find it. Who's his friend in the pointy hat? This gold shortage business is bad enough. And now I've gone and lost my magic bell. Magic? What does it do? We're supposed to use our bells to go about our work unnoticed. When we ring them, it makes us invisible. Did you hear that? We're invisible. Shh! Shh you're so... Ow! I shudder to think what the captain will say if he... Oh my gosh! The captain! He'll be arriving for inspection in a minute! And if I haven't finished this glade, he'll demote me back down to Miss Collector. You finish up here, Hugo, and I'll take these home to Mum. Then come back and help you look for your bell. You're a pal, Rupert. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> what was that? It sounded like... Ow! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, no, it can't be! I know you're there, Freddy and Ferdy. You found the magic bell, haven't you? Finders keepers! <laughs> it's not funny. Hugo could get into serious trouble. Losers weepers! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Come on, fellows. A joke's a joke. But that bell is somebody else's property. So's this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back here, you two. Hey, what the? <laughs> Constable Growler, are you all right? Rupert, is that you? <laughs> I really don't think this is a laughing matter, Rupert. <laughs> oh, well, it isn't your fault. Bit tired on more snugly this time. Wouldn't want the wind to blow it into anyone else's path. <laughs> Whoa! Great Scott! I never realised this hill was so steep. <laughs> Stop this instant in the name of the law! This is terrible. I'm going to need some help. Ah. Not exactly a dazzling effort. Very disappointing. Sorry, sir, but perhaps if I had one more handful of gold dust per tree, I One could... more handful? I've told you, there's a serious gold shortage this year. We've all got to tighten our belts. Do we have to scrimp on the colors, sir? You dare question an order that comes from the Elf King himself? It seems the captain got out of bed on the wrong side this morning. Any more back chat from you and you'll be booted back down to Mist Collector. Sorry, sir. That's more like it. And don't just stand there in broad daylight. Use your bell. Y yes sir. Uh, right away, sir. Oh, of all the things to happen on my first leaf-turning duty. Cheer up, Hugo. I've got some good news. I know where your bell is. You do? Where is it? That's the bad news. But don't worry, I've got a plan. <laughs> I should have known he was pulling my leg, hey? <laughs> my word, it's windy today. The foxes can't be very far away. <laughs> there! Uh, you said you'd help me get my bell back. I'm sorry, Hugo, but Dad says I have to paint the fence today. He's got a big can of paint mixed and waiting for me in the garden shed. Did you hear that, Freddy? A big can of paint! Hey, Freddy, why don't we give our old pal Rupert a bit of help? <laughs> 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 we'll teach him to try and stop the Fox Brothers having fun. I knew they wouldn't be able to resist playing a prank. Hurry up! Hurry up yourself! I'll take that. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> me, Hugo. When will Freddy and Ferdy become visible again? Never. Well, it serves them. What do you mean? Didn't I tell you? Anyone who rings the bell who isn't an elf stays invisible forever. Forever? You mean there isn't any way to bring them back to normal? Well, the elf king could do it, of course. He's the only one who knows the secret code word to reverse the bell's magic. Thanks for all your help, Rupert. If there's ever anything I can do for you, just ask. Goodbye, Rupert! Hugo, wait! What about Freddy and Ferdy? Looks like they're heading for home. Watch it! Hey! 
<laughs> Give me that! No, it's mine! Give! Freddy! Ferdy! It was Freddy's fault! No, it was Ferdy! I've made you an apple pie, boys! Boys, where are you? We're right here, Mum. Where? I can't see you. That's because we're invisible. You scamps. Stop teasing your poor mother. Hello, Mrs. Fox. Oh, hello, Rupert. Would you like a slice of pie? What about us, Mum? It's ours. Freddy and Ferdy are pretending to be invisible. And there'll be no pie for them until they come out of hiding. Oh, Mum! Now listen, you two, you're in serious trouble. You might be invisible forever. Great! That means we can have fun all the time. <laughs> Stop that! Hey, Rupert! Want to come and kick a ball around on the common? I want to play! Me too! That sounded like Freddy and Ferdy. Where are they? We're right here. We're invisible, that's all. Now this is your last chance, Freddy and Ferdy. You stop this silly invisible nonsense right now. But, Mum, we really are invisible. <clears throat> here you are. This is for you. I hope you'll enjoy it. Oh, yes, ma'am. We will. Thank you, Mrs. Fox. And thank you, Freddy and Ferdy, wherever you are. Mum, that was ours. If my own sons don't appreciate all the trouble I've gone to, perhaps their friends will. Are you coming, Rupert? I'll join you later, Ottilie. Ah! There's something I have to take care of first. Well, if Rupert isn't coming, we can still play three aside. How do you work that out? There are only five of us. I'll count as two, so that's two pieces for me. <laughs> Archie, come back here. But we want to play too. You can't play if you're invisible. How would we know where to pass the ball? Rupert, you, you gotta, gotta help us. us. We want our boy. Please, Hugo, take us to see the Elf King. Freddy and Ferdy don't want to be invisible forever. They should have thought of that before they started monkeying about with my bell. It was Freddy's fault. No, it was Ferdy. Was not. Was two. Was not. Was. I promised to do you a favor, Rupert. Not those foxes. But it would be doing me a favor. Can you imagine what my life would be like with a pair of invisible foxes following me everywhere? Hmm, I see what you mean. Well, all right, Rupert, but if we somehow manage to see the king, you'll have to do all the talking. Thanks, Hugo. Come on, Freddy and Ferdy. Maybe there'll still be some pie left when we get back. Wait for us! We can take the Elfin Railway to... I get the front seat! No, me! Oh, hey! Nobody's going anywhere if you two don't do exactly what I say. Now, complete silence and best behavior. That was our best behavior. and gold mines. Did you hear that, Ferdy? Gold mines. Why don't we make a little detour for some souvenirs of our trip? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, you two. It's not far to the first checkpoint, and the guards won't look kindly on stowaways. Please state your business. We're on our way to seek an audience with the king. But didn't you see him just now? The king? You must have passed the royal train going the other way. The king's on a state visit to the gold mines. We must have just missed him. I suppose he's gone to see about the gold shortage. What shortage? The king's gone to congratulate the elves on achieving record production this year. If you hurry, you should be able to meet up with him on the way to the mines. Why would the captain tell me there's a gold shortage when it's been a record year? I don't know, Hugo, but we'll get to the bottom of it. Whoa! Train. But, but, where is 
everybody. Let's investigate. We'll stay and look after the car. They can't have gone far. The king is my prisoner. Look, up there. I am the troll of the mountain. You must bring me all of the autumn elves' gold. Sorry, there's a gold shortage this year. It's all gone. You can't fool me. They've got mountains of gold dust. It's been a record year. Who told you? No more questions! Bring me the gold, or I'll eat the king for breakfast and his guards for pudding! <laughs> We'd better do as he says. Wait, Hugo. There's something funny about this troll. Why don't you two foxes go up there and take a closer look at him? You're invisible, so he won't notice you. Um, I'd love to go, Rupert, but I'm not much good with heights. Me too. I get giddy standing with one foot on top of the other. Hey, that was my excuse, Bertie. Was not. Ow! What ah, else? Was not. <sighs> Tell you what, Rupert. Well, why don't we try to guess what that code word is? Bluebells. Thistle down. You go. Oh. No, you! No, you! You! Ah. It's all right, Hugo. I'll go. But, Rupert, you could be invisible forever! Then at least I'll have Freddy and Ferdy for company. Oh, you're biting me! That's not me! You're biting yourself! Ow! Ow. Ow. Ah. You're a brave bear, Rupert. Get off! What are you waiting for down there? It's nothing but an old tree. I'm warning you! I've already got the king in the oven! Yum, 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 yum! Hmm. What's the matter with them? It's the captain. They must be up to something. Uh. Hmm. Don't worry, Your Majesty. I'll soon have you out of here. Look out! <laughs> ah! Come here. Ah! Whoa! You've been hoarding the gold that was supposed to go to Hugo. But that wasn't enough. You're so greedy you want it all. That's right. And you can't stop me. <laughs> Help! Come back and fight like an elf! Your Majesty! Don't just stand there bowing and scraping. Stop this wicked elf! <laughs> There's Rupert! <gasps> yeah! Come on, you two, help your friend! He's right, Freddy. Rupert must be worth his weight in gold. Don't worry, Rupe. We'll save you. Something, you foxes! Come on, Freddy. There could be a reward in this. Right behind you, Freddy. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, get him! Get up! Habidashery. That was the secret code word. I change it every week. I pick words I like the sound of. Last week it was cabbages. Now then, Captain, what are we going to do with you? You seem to have come down with a bad case of gold fever. Perhaps a spell of miscollecting might cure him, Your Majesty. <laughs> Good idea, Rupert. No, anything but that. Of course, that means there'll be a vacancy for a new captain. I'd better do something about that. Thank you, sire. And why don't you keep that gold dust as a reward for all your help, Rupert? Thank you. What about our reward? I'll take his scarf. I want his trousers. No, I want them. Oh, hey, no, stop that. 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 I've got them. No, it's mine. I have a much more appropriate reward in mind for you two. That 
was a brilliant reward your king gave the foxes, Hugo. Listen! Quick, let's hide! <laughs> Some reward? They don't even work! Did anything happen? I don't know. I do feel funny. Like when you've eaten too much ice cream? Sort of like that. Maybe we are invisible, Freddy. I know. You have a go at knocking Constable Growler's helmet off. Me? Why not you? Because I'm the oldest. Or not. Am too. Or not. Am too. Or not. Am too. Thanks to those bells, we'll always know when there's trouble brewing. <laughs> <laughs>